everyone welcome back to my channel and oops you're too close to my face there we go welcome back to my channel and i know i am i have created not i am i have created this makeup look for um you know one of the choices for new year's eve i'm hopefully i'm hopefully i'm hoping that i'll be able to upload more videos of what other sparkly because i just i just love sparkly shimmery um looks so definitely i'll be making some more um probably one more or two kinds of sparkly look um i did use in this um video i used the metal metal matte palette from Kat Von D. It's so huge that it's giving me a hard time holding it on but this is the look that I have accomplished just because you know I kind of want to incorporate the color of the year for 2017. It's gonna be green um so as you can see here my eyelids you know um I'm not the best in doing a little darker shadows but you know what I'm starting to love it and I'm probably gonna do a lot more mm, a little darker but without further ado I would like to show you how I did this look you know this is gonna be like a tutorial voiceover and um, if you have any comments please feel free to comment down below and um, I'm gonna of course I'm gonna write down all um, the products in the description box and also um, if you're new in my channel please subscribe and so that you can be part of my family and you know have fun um and for all the subscribers that already had and always been so supportive thank you very much and i will see you soon next time and you know to welcome the 2017 so i'll see you guys next time bye okay so to get started i'm gonna use this i'm real by tony moly this is actually more of the citrusy scent I most of the time not all the time but most of the time I try to put this on and leave it on for like at least 15 minutes before I put on my makeup it just you know gives you so much moisturizer and we have somebody here with us it's my baby Yana but anyway so my next step is putting on my makeup forever step one again for moisturizing and for today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Foundation, which is, um, this one is for luminizing. I mean, yeah, it's for luminosity. So I'm just going to be putting that on. It doesn't seem to be very much coverage. It is medium coverage, but definitely it looks like it's buildable, which is, you know, good but when i did the when i did this layer i felt like i had to add some more so my next step is i'll be using this maybelline um this is my dark erase um my dark circle eraser um i'm not a uh, i don't really have a very dark circles under my eye but definitely i use this a lot for highlighting most of the time but you know it just gives me more of a, a look of a refreshed look and i'm using this um real techniques um beauty sponge and i'm using this to pounce it in my skin and pounce 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 until it's all blended and so the next thing that i'm gonna use is my bye bye pores by it cosmetics as you can see i'm hitting pan on this one because this is my favorite especially on setting on my under eye makeup and also for my all over the all over the face because it really covers up a lot of my pores and my fine lines so you know nobody would recognize my age at all but it makes my uh, makeup application or I mean my makeup really very flawless so we're gonna go straight to our my eyebrows and I'm using actually um, a powder um, brow um, a powder brow product called Bodycology I got this um, product way back I think last year 
with my boxy charm and it's great that I still have it up to now. The next thing that I'm going to use is a shadow primer that I got from my BoxyCharm also. This is from Mica Beauty and it's very important that I put my shadow primer so it can hold my makeup for a very long time. Well, not super long, but And for my good enough. Um, eyeshadow, I'll be using the palette that I got from Kat Von D. It's actually the metal and matte eyeshadow. It's a huge eyeshadow. So it's been a while that I've been blending and trying to blend this. The palette is really gorgeous. It's heavy, but the colors, as you can see, it's a little patchy and kind of like, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I'm doing something wrong that, you know, it's very hard to blend, but maybe it's just me or the brush that I'm using. But I'm using the Sigma F40 for blending my um, transition shade. I kind of want it to become more dramatic since you know it's a, a really darker color. In the video it kind of looks like blue but definitely on the palette it was definitely green. I chose the green one because it's all been said that it is the color of the year 2017 and I kind of want to incorporate that for a celebration that you know I'm welcoming the color 
of the 2017 and I am very used with superstitions. I think I got that from my mother and she has a lot, a lot of superstitions on New Year, things that you have to do to bring good luck or, you know, abundance uh, of every home. So I'm not exactly sure if I'll be able to get to make that kind of video because there's quite a bit. So yeah, I'm continuing of uh, using the palette and I am trying to highlight my brow bone with a plain white color. I totally forgot the, the name of the color, but I'll let you know. So as you can see here, I am using the Rimmel um, gel liner, but in the middle of trying to put on my liner, definitely the, kind, the liner kind of feels a little dry so in a few seconds you will be noticing that I change it to the Maybelline um, gel liner which is always my go-to um, it never goes wrong I always you know slay my eyeliner if that's even you know a, a word for this but definitely I did really great with my eyeliner I'm so thankful but yeah so I will just continue um, building my eyeliner here and we'll keep, keep going. applying my mascara and I'm be using the Lorac Pro mascara and the camera got cut off so I came back with the mascara with eyelashes and it's magic but right here I am starting to, to contour slash bronzing my face with my Chanel Tan de Soleil um, I'm I'm not in really in love with this product but it is good you know it's uh, more like a cream um, bronzer but as you can see it was very easy application um, it's not so difficult to blend but something that tells me that you know suddenly after this look kind of want to make me use it more often because sometimes I get to forget about it and start using something else but this is really nice, so I'll probably keep on using it. So I'm contouring my tiny nose, so it would look a little bit more like slender. And all of you know that I do this contouring just to kind of like, you know, make me lose, make me my face lose like probably like 15 pounds. So just because that is a cream, a bronzer, I will definitely kind of like um, set it with a powder bronzer from L'Oreal. And here I have the palette from Tarte and I am using a subtle color just because, you know, um, I don't want it too bright. And as you can see, I have like that ugly, ugly bronzed forehead that I totally forgot to blend. I'll probably remember doing that in a little bit, but definitely I am using my Anastasia Glow Kit. Um... I've been liking this a lot, you know. It's like I feel like every time I'm putting on makeup, it's like a necessity that I have to glow. I mean, what's the point of not glowing, you know, if you have your makeup on, but I'm just, whatever. But there are times that I don't use it. So I'm using my MAC um, bronzer here just to kind of like uh, make it a little bit more shimmery. And I am using one of the colors from my Buxom um, holiday collection set. And I forgot totally what the name of the color is, but definitely I will have that on the link below in my description box. So like what I said, you know, with the blush and the lips, I kind of want to just keep it like more subtle. And then I am adding up a little bit of a gloss from Buxom also called the White Russian. This is my favorite and will always be my favorite. So I think I got Actually, it all now I'm gonna figured start out. I'm going to start curling my hair. I feel more um, 
comfortable if I curl my hair. My hair is like three, four days old and it's the best to curl your hair when your hair is actually dirty. I know. I know, but does the, that doesn't mean that, you know, it has to be really, really dirty. I, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, after like two to three more days, you know, the curls hold a little bit longer. 